Hello everyone, welcome to another video of real time interview questions. So the question here is how to identify an element using anchor. Okay. Now let's get into Tosca and we are going to use a basic uh, login page of this automation mock website. So let me, I'll click on modules, I'll click on scan, I'll click on application. Okay. So this is going to pop out the option as to whatever uh, open pages are on there on my machine and since we want to use that that is a highlighted I'll click on scan and I'll use all these three okay now uh, these all are uniquely identifiable right now but in case uh, see I'll select a username now if it is uniquely identifiable by properties then that is good to go but in case you are not able to find an element using properties then this is the another method which we can take a look into now let me remove few things here so if I remove username see the item is not unique and let's say we do not have that property or that property is not popular some issues there okay then we, we can move towards another uh, property okay so here if you see password and login both are unique okay now if I click on username I need to click on this identify by section and here I'll find another method anchor so what does anchor do anchor can be used to identify the elements which are not unique so what it is doing is it is going to take the properties of the anchor element and that is going to direct to the element which we are not able to identify so let me show how we do that since login is a unique element and we'll get some option like this so there are two ways I can click on select on screen and I can get that property here or I can drag and drop if I have an existing property so I have to drag and drop this near the anchor control so why it is called anchor control because this is the control which will be used to identify username okay now if you come to relative algorithm here you'll find two three different things so first thing is auto that it can decide with which way it is going to uh, what is the best effective way to find now second could be the shortest path the easiest path and then we can do it using coordinate as well so this is this is just a selection thing which we can do but the backend operation is going to perform in this way like whatever would be easier so in case you know coordinate then you can select this option or shortest path or otherwise auto is used okay so see the moment we have put anchor control here my username got unique now this particular element is using anchor how can we know with this particular sign okay. in case this is closed then I can know by this particular thing so this particular image shows that it is using anchor and it is using few properties as well okay now I'll just uh, I can update this name so I'll just write anchor here and I will save it and uh, I'll close this and I uh, will quickly just run this a uh, very basic code but we'll try it out so I'm going to put it here I'll just write identify by anchor and here our username is using anchor but anyways I'll put some so this is the user ID for this particular website so automation mock website and secret underscore source is the password and on the login I want to click on that button so I'll perform a click operation okay and now if I run this script it is going to enter into username using anchor property so it is going to input the username password and then click on login and below you can see the accepted username and password for this demo website is mentioned so this is how we use identify by anchor and remember to use this only when the property when you are not able to identify with using property here in this case I have manually manipulated to check out how we can identify by anchor that pretty much sums up this video let me know in case you have any other comments uh, and do like share and subscribe and have a great day thank you